Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm going to be putting in this blue line for my solar power down to my battery bank down here and I've been cheating I've already put the blue line in part of the way uh, actually a lot of the way the, the, the difficult part of the way actually it's a bit sad but well I didn't want to make a fool of myself on camera it doesn't really work for me does it the blue line goes in here it goes through my nice hole in the wall that I drilled just last weekend and it goes under the floorboards in the living room. I did clean up and I did make a mess again. I cleaned up before I put in the line and then I put in the line and then everything got dirty again. So that didn't really work out for me very well. So I have to clean up this again. Let's go upstairs. Underneath here is the wall that I drilled through and the blue hose is going out this way and it's going over to this corner over here where it goes out. It's going out there and then it's going under the floorboards. I don't know how much we can film of this, but it's, it's going under the floorboards and it ends up somewhere over here. It takes a bit of a detour around a the rock there. It's a bit difficult to, uh, to get the hose the right way, but I think it's probably only 30 centimeters that detour. And the line comes out here. And right now I'm building or <laughs> digging this trench for it over here to the garage. I just want it down as far as possible. It's not gonna be very far, but it makes a little it makes a little turn and it goes up into the garage. And there is enough of it. It goes all the way, all the way from here and up and over. So I'll have to, I'll cut some of that off. I really just need it to go somewhere around. I have no idea. I'll probably just cut it so it sticks up a little bit from the ground, like around here. That will be good. I'll be continuing digging my trench out here. Just wanted to get it a little bit further down and start putting some dirt on this again. The trench is as deep as I think I want it. Over here I'm going under some roots from this tree. Uh, I can't get it any deeper right here. Uh, I'm digging it a little bit deeper down here. And now I'm gonna step on it and put some dirt on top of that. And I'm just gonna do that the entire way. I've cut the line a bit shorter. I haven't cut it very short yet because I'm not sure yet where to cut it, where I want it. So I'm leaving it long for a little bit. I have put back the dirt on my little trench here. Put the garbage cans back on place. Very cool. And well, I guess it's time to close up this hole in the floor as well. Uh, I found a, a couple of pieces of wood and what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay a piece beneath the floor uh, right here so that the, the two floorboards can lay down on that edge that will be sticking out right there. And I'm going to take this piece and lay that in the corner or on, in the sides here. I'm going to chop that up to, into two pieces. It's a lot easier if you see it. Just going to lay the board there. I'm really happy with this corner that I've built with the pallet wood because right now it's raining outside. <laughs> Look over here, there's a snail. Let's go visit. Oh, this is Miss Georgia snail. That one has a name. So I'm gonna chop this up. This piece that I just made is gonna be going underneath the floorboards like this. I'm gonna screw it in from the top and so will the, the two other pieces on each side of the uh, I'm, I'm gonna be putting in a bit of wood glue. I'm 
Now that is in. I'm going to be doing the same thing with this. Okay, I've cheated a little bit. I've cut the other piece without you watching. Uh, but I'm running out of wood glue. Um, Trying to get the last little bit out of there. Come on. I guess that's dead. So we're going to do the same thing. Got to make some clamps. Um, I don't want these to stick out very far. Let's just take the other one. That's better in view. I've cut off a little bit of the board here because uh, of the wide of the blade of the jigsaw and then cold air would be blowing up from underneath the floor into the living room and I don't really want that so that's mostly what these boards are for just preventing that Now the boards are in place, I'm gonna take the vacuum cleaner and clean this up before I put back the rock. I kind of found a piece of insulation that I think I'm just gonna be stuffing down here so that this corner will be a little bit better insulated. It's, it's not much, but always. Everything helps. I'm just gonna get something to take off this extra glue. Down the boards. I would like to have this as a maintenance thing so that I can have more access to beneath the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a screw here and there to make sure it doesn't do this. And I'm gonna remove these. These are just to, to take them out of there, like handle. Okay, this corner of the living room is a okay again. It sounds really solid. So I guess that's okay. Out here in the garage where the line ends or starts, mm, I have this cable over here. Mm, it's not really the cable that I want to be using, but for this it might be good enough to start with. It's a cable we have been using for filming, but it wasn't really good because it didn't have the number of, of wires inside of it that we needed. So I'm gonna try and take this out here and feed it through. This is a yeah. This there's only four cables. We need we needed a 400 a 400 volt cable. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna feed it through and uh, get it down to the basement and make a mark on it and feed it, or pull it back because I want to know how long this blue hose is. So when I go out and get the real cable that I want to be using. Uh, I don't want to buy five extra meters of that just because I don't know how long it should be. That's the plan right now. I actually have a substance here for making cables slide better through conduits. There's not much in it, but I'm giving it a little bit as much as I can. Yeah, the can is almost empty, so we're gonna give it the rest and throw the can out. On this cable has some kind of end. We're gonna 
shorten that. Okay, I'm stuck, and if you listen, you can hear the pipe is sucking at me, and that is because... I have had the vacuum cleaner trying to suck through the cable. I can't suck through the cable, I was just hoping that it would help, but I'm not able to pull it through. I have another plan. So I'm gonna turn on the vacuum cleaner again. That didn't work at all. I was not able to pull the cable through. So what I've done now is I have taken the cable out and I've attached a string to it. At, at the end of this string, there is a little piece of dangling paper that I'm gonna send through first. And hopefully the vacuum cleaner will suck this through and the string would be long enough to go out on the other end and I'll have a connection to push the cable through as long as I can manage and I can go down to the basement and pull in this string and hopefully that will help get the cable through. Let's see if the, if the vacuum cleaner will suck this in. Bending this so that it doesn't get stuck inside the, inside the hose. Let's see if it, yeah, it still gets stuck. Yeah, it's pulling the string through. It has a good okay. Now let's turn it off. Oh yeah. Oh, the paper thing he didn't go through, but the rest of it did. So here is, here's the end of it. I, I can help it. Oh, it's coming a little bit. This is stretchy. I actually changed my mind. I think I'm gonna be putting pulling this piece of measuring tape through instead, just the other way, because uh, I wanted to know how long the cable must be to go from over here and down to the battery bank and uh, there's no reason to push the cable through and then take it out again when I can just do the measuring tape. So I have tightened the measuring tape to the string and I'm gonna, gonna pull the cable and the string back. Measuring tape, that was almost too easy. And we're just gonna measure it down to there. And in here we have the measuring tape and it's, oh, I think I have, to, I will need 16 meters of cable to do this project. 16 meters, that's, that's quite long. I'm back to where I started. I am getting a little bit sweaty running forth and back. This project, it's a lot of up the stairs, down the stairs, bring the camera. I marked the spot where I pulled it out last time, so I'm back to where I started before I gave up and pulled it out. And uh, yeah, now I think I can get a bit further. Stuck again. Basement. I'm through. There was. I was like this long down in the basement, but I could pull the red string and the cable came out. Uh, so now I can cut this cable in this end to approximately somewhere somewhere down here, the height of these inverters. This is only a temporary cable because I don't think this cable is able to do as many amps that I really want to pull through. Cutting the cable. Here in the basement, this is what it looks like right now. Uh, the cable goes down to about the floor. I have the vacuum cleaner down here still. It's kind of convenient because I was talking about cleaning up here. So I'm just gonna be cleaning up and um, bringing the vacuum cleaner up again. Well, I didn't get to cut this off. I don't think the blue line is uh, going to be this long, but I'll manage that. 
This is as far as I'm gonna go with this project this weekend. I will um, try and connect this next weekend. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me finish this. And have a really nice day. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh